Okay, let's take a look. All right, yeah, this is looking really good. Um, really like the dramatic use of the camera work to tell the story. Um, well, let's just kind of look at this bit by bit here. So, there's something about this. I feel like some of your like moving holes are maybe a little bit too big. Like, especially for the kind of cartoony-like movement you want for him. So, uh, like this. Like, like that there. It's like he never really holds, and he's supposed to be doing this, like, stealthy, kind of snappy movement. So I think, yes, you want to do moving holds, but I think some of your moves and your holds are too big. Whereas this one here, like, which one was it? That one? Like that was snappy and it's a it was like a pretty good hole, like it wasn't this one was maybe I thought he kind of I like that you're kind of following through and coming back, but then he snaps the two frozen and posed. I think if you're gonna hold on this you need to have him kind of slightly moving and breathing there or something. Um unless it's supposed to be like a freeze frame on the end, and if so you should do something to make that obvious like I don't know, put some text on the screen or something. You know what I mean? That was like freeze frame, you know, like but I don't think I don't know that that was your intention. If he's still acting at this point, he has to be moving at least a little bit. Um And I think you said you were going to have him jump off with both feet. What you do is if and actually I think that would work, so Yeah, this foot lands, and then this foot lands shortly after, and then, and then he jumps up with both feet, and then lands like that. I think that would work. So it's just a kind of an adjustment around here. You might need to give yourself a little bit more time because you still probably want to land on this foot first, and then he's going down. This foot is catching up, and then yeah, maybe a few more frames. I think he's still on the ground here because that foot is just settling down. And then he jumps up, you know, so you need a few more frames in there to do that. Um, I just wanted to kind of look at that moving hold a little bit. Make that into like a solid hold again. I just did a middle mouse drag thing. I'm just trying to be really subtle there. It kind of felt like a bit of a bounce. Maybe I'll move this one to here. You know, just keep it smaller. I would move more of the controls than that, but really small, because I think he's got this kind of superhero tight, snappy thing, so you want your holds to be pretty, I think, pretty still. But then you just got to move it enough to keep him alive. You know, you want to keep him kind of still and snappy. Like I was saying, this this has a. It's maybe almost too quick there, but it's got this kind of nice snappy look to it. I think you could maybe do a longer hold. Kind of want to see his hand stay still. Now, what what you're struggling against here is that the arm is in FK mode, and if that hand is meant to stick to the ground, it really needs to be in IK mode. So what you could do a lot of keyframes here, but you could maybe I'll probably do it right here. You could take the this one 
this arm. So it's currently, I'm going to delete all the keyframes off of this FKIK blend. And then we could say, all right, so in this frame, it's FK. And then we could say on the very, very next frame here, it's going to be IK. So that's going to be, what is it, 10, I think? All right, and then we got to bring that IK handle over here and get that hand on the ground if we can. I think it's so, oh, it's kind of twisted around, is it? It's not quite, no, like more like that. So, and then let's just uh, delete out all the frames before and after that for that IK hand. Okay. So now, uh, camera two. Now, this hand moving up here is because, not because the IK isn't working, but it's because the arm is sort of overextending the body. So you kind of have two choices here, because what you can do, I'm just going to delete all the keyframes off of this, delete selected, and increase the stretchy, I can't remember if it's 1 or 10, but what you can do is make it so that arm stretches when he gets up. Um, which looks actually kind of cool for this character, I think. Or you have to keyframe the body in such a way that the arm doesn't try to overextend. I sort of like that. I don't know. And then at some point here, you know, let me just set another keyframe on this hand, and then we have to transition back to um, FK again because you've set all these nice FK keyframes. So. We'll keyframe here and maybe by here, it's FK again. And then and then the hand sticks at least for a few frames, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just a few frames, but it's a nice hard whoosh, Yeah. Might have been able to get it away with a few. I think you could have held it still until maybe here 178 and then switch over. Let's try that. Um, okay, okay, but oh, I don't need these keyframes, it's just confusing things. Okay. I'm just going to move this later, this switch back. Yeah, I like that a little better. Oh, it does it later. It sticks longer. Yeah, it looks really sort of snappy now, the way he picks up his gun. Yeah, better. And then I think this was another kind of too big of a moving hold here. Well, I don't know. I just sort of think if this is a hold, it's, it's, there's like that to there, it's too big of a movement. But at the same time, I'm like, well, what's he doing here? You know? Maybe give him something to do. Maybe he like kind of sticks his neck out and looks forward more, or maybe he he like clenches his fist in readiness or something. I don't know. I feel like he needs to sort of either hold tight or do something here, like one or the other. But this kind of little sort of funny kind of drift isn't looking so good. So either a pretty tight thing where he's holding tight and there's a smaller moving hold, or maybe just have him take a breath, kind of go down and back up and move his chest back and forth, just the smallest bit, or 
so tighten it up so it's a tighter hold or give them some little action to do in there but yeah I think it's going great really good stuff